This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckage, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea or falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a the teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Midway Mutants battle. The Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And NFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How are you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. One, hot two. Hey. Once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. Second and three. Hot. 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 It's two yard run before he stopped. <laughs> third and two. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first. Oh, mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had sewn on today. Looks like it's a good fit. <laughs> it's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous inter Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third and two. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? First down and six. All well, week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and six. 
And that's just a great run for a touchdown. You know, with orcs, we'll never be the strongest. With robots, we'll never be the smartest. With aliens, we'll never be the fastest. <laughs> but I will be damned if we don't have the best moves. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot three. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. <laughs> Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that play so pop. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Ah, another interception. You should give this guy a bigger paycheck. To no doubt about he says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Hot, hot, hot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a greased football, he gets away in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And that'll 
it'll be second and eight to go. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what's throw it. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He had to step up his game. Not only did he step up there, he blew up. <laughs> nice extra effort. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The offense lost another running back in only to remain on the roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and it turns boom! And it's first and ten. Who's next? Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown! You know, in the pre-apocalypse, they would flag this kind of thing. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that. He refuses to go down. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just
for the extra point. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I went, oh man, he really wants it. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. At this point, 
with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably have an interception. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Third down and never gonna happen. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He picks up a two. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies at Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and five. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Wow. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Wow, the funeral expenses there. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we are, Grim. Aren't we are. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. The 30. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's 
First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. <laughs> The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? We have to explain it to him. He just, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go with our striptease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Now, yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. up a new set of downs. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You 
just throw it to the guy in the same color. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the boom dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking. Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Oh. I know how this said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Second down in a mile. Hot one. Hot. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback, you know, you got to put the buzz on the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. The Carolina Panzers blitzed the opposition until there was no one left. They win by forfeit. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.